time to drive. <gasps> what the fuck? Jerry in the driver's seat. Okay. Jerry in the driver's seat. Jerry in the driver's seat. Jerry in the driver's seat. <laughs> Hi friends. I don't know how to start this. Oh my god. Hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tara. If you're not new, hi, my name is Tara. Guys, we are definitely not recording in my room right now. We're actually in my brand new Beetle. Also my car, but also my Beetle. So, you know. Um, yeah, I got a car. It's a Volkswagen Beetle. Oh my god. I've had this car for over a week now, and I've literally been looking forward to make this video for so long. But yeah, anyway, as you can see in the title of the video, today I'm going to be doing a car tour of my all new slash it's technically used 2019 Volkswagen Beetle. Hi Tina. I'm recording. Why the hell is Obama in here? I, it was for a bit. <laughs> Guys, this is my sister Tina. And Barack. And Barack. You can't really see him. Get in here, man. <laughs> Are you excited about the car? Yeah. Anyway, you have to go now because we have to report this. Tina, stop, go. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about this car a bit, shall we? So I actually bought this car from a dealership up in Illinois. And for those of you who don't know, I live in Massachusetts, so Illinois is very far away. I bought it from the dealership online, and um, they sent it straight to my house. Like, literally, they brought it on the back of a truck and brought it right up to my doorstep. They did that. But yeah, no, they brought it to my house about a week or so ago, and um, ever since then, I have been cruising on down. It drives so smoothly. It's so incredibly cool. It's a turbo car, so it actually has, like, a speeding, like, gear I can go on to, besides just the driving one. Like, literally, I can take this car on the Autobahn, okay, and I can just go, and it will be fine. Not that I would ever do that, though, because I'm terrified of highways, but that's besides the point. Anyway, I bought this car with around 20,000 miles, give or take. It came completely decked out. It has Apple CarPlay. I'll show you guys that in a bit. The mileage on the car, I'm pretty sure, is 27 in city. 33 on highway I could be wrong on that which is really good if you consider the fact that most teenagers end up getting Jeeps that literally have the worst mileage known to man a Jeep Wrangler quite literally has 17 in city 17 and then it's like 23 or something on highway like it's so small and insignificant sorry i got really angry there for a second um jeeps get me really riled up sometimes you know i guess we should start actually getting on to like the interior tour slash type of the video because you are here for a car tour not for me to yell about jeeps for 35 minutes so yeah i'm gonna take my camera off my tripod and then i will start showing you around my car okay hi Handheld Tari here, back at it again. I'm gonna get out of my car so I can actually give you like a, a proper tour of this thing. So yeah, um, here's the car in all of its glory. Look how gorgeous she is. Sorry if it's echoey, I'm currently like sitting in my garage right now because it's blaring outside. Anyway, this is the car. As I said, it's a 2019 Volkswagen. Super, super, super nice. It's also a convertible. I probably should have said that earlier, but yeah, I will put down the roof for you guys a little bit later. Anyway, moving towards the back of the car. Here's like the trunk area. I love the little turbo that's right under here. It's so cute. You know, you might be saying to yourself, Tara, how do you open the trunk? You know, there's no lever right here. You know, how are you supposed to open it? And to that I say, Absolutely stunning. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. So yeah, this is the trunk. Obviously not the most spacious thing in the world. You have these mats in here um, that I don't really have set up right now. They're kind of just like sitting here limply. I will eventually put it all together. I just didn't feel like doing it right now. And I also just don't know how, so I'll figure that out later. In the back over there, you can see is actually my first aid kit, which um, has the Volkswagen logo right on it as well. I actually like open this up and like it full on like has a scissors and tape and like sterilizer and all that type of stuff. It's like a full on med kit, which is like really cool, honestly. Like I did not expect that. That just sticks with some Velcro on the back right up there. And um, that's where it stays. But yeah, um, definitely not the biggest space. But you know, it's a beetle. What were you expecting? But yeah, anyway, um, let's just close this up and go to the other side of the car. Moving on, here's the other side, um, the driver's side, I should say. The hubcaps for this car are so sick. Like, look at that. Look how cool that is. You can kind of see me in them, actually. 
Hello. Oh, yeah, no, these are so cute. I love them. They look absolutely adorable. Here's the driver's side of the car, the place where I will be spending the most time in. I'll actually unlock the car for you with my key. From what I've seen, it's pretty similar to other Volkswagen cars. But yeah, um, let's start getting into the car, actually, because that's where all the real stuff is. Just looking at the car inside, it's pretty open, pretty spacious. We have the white interior that matches, you know, the outside white interior. I love it. It looks so clean. And then we also have all the black seats. Um, made out of, I think it's like a fake pleather type material. There are four fully functioning seats in the car. Whether or not the back two are comfortable is up to you to decide. The good thing about it, I will say, is that I'm pretty sure I'm like 5'3". So if anybody is like sitting right behind the driver, which is usually going to be me, they don't really have to worry about having a lot of space because I'm always super close to the steering wheel. So they definitely have a lot of legroom to like move around and stuff like that, which is always good. But yeah, anyway, let's actually just get in the car and start looking at the actual detailed type stuff, you know? So yeah, um, now we're sitting in the car, obviously. I have the steering wheel right in front of me. So yeah, all you need to do is just push the push to start button. Well, wow, it's a mouthful. Um, it's over down here, um, next to like the gear instead of actually being up here, just because space and stuff like that. So yeah, you just push it and hold the brake. And it starts up. You have the welcome to your beetle. You know, the iconic line. And yeah, um, now the car is officially on. I'm gonna turn on the AC because it's actually really hot. But yeah, no, this is inside the car with the roof up. Obviously, I'll take it off at the end, I promise. If you look to the door, you have the lock and unlock option. You also, on the driver's side, have a way to control your mirrors. So um, whatever mirror you're trying to change, you can just set it up to like, for example, the left one. And then actually you can just use this as a joystick to move it around, which is really cool. And I'm a really unique way of doing it. I've never really seen that before so that's pretty cool down here you have the full window um, option keys whatever I don't really know how to say it and yeah basically these just bring down the window of the car you know just like that here's the back window which is actually kind of cool you can see how it goes down it's like a transformer like it like literally goes up and down Autobots roll out. so cool oh my god moving to the steering wheel we have this really cute white and black design wheel is actually not that small it's pretty big it fits like any other wheel but we have little options also on the car here we have to answer phone calls bring up the volume shuffle things like that on this side we just have stuff to control like the main screen over here that we will get to eventually i promise on the wheel i have this really pretty cover i got it off amazon it's it's like this yarn kind of sort of design or whatever. I thought it was really cute. Um, I love the black and white design that matches the black and the white of the car. Besides just looking really cute, it also holds the purpose of keeping my car wheel like cool and stuff like that in the summertime. It can it gets really hot in Massachusetts. As you can tell, um, I literally have the AC on as we record this video. So it's always good to have a cover so that your hands can kind of stay away from the metal parts of the car. If we move over here, this is where I control my lights. I have it on auto right now, but you can always just turn it completely off or turn them on. Here's the dashboard um, which just has my speedometer and you know how much fuel I have in the car right now which is actually a lot it also tells me that I'm currently not buckled in but you know I'm sure that's not gonna be a problem put y'all seatbelts on Psh, yep yeah, moving to the other side of the car, we can actually see my navigation system, which currently isn't set up because I don't have my phone plugged in. So let me do that real quick. The car actually does have CarPlay, which is super sick. I love it so much. It's so useful. It literally connects to my phone. It has all the apps and contacts and all that type of stuff. It actually has the Dunkin' app, which I don't really understand. Um, I don't know why that would be like your first priority. Like, oh yeah, let me get the Dunkin' app on here. But yeah, no, it does have it. Um, it also has things like Spotify and Apple Music. Um, I use Spotify because I'm woke. But yeah, no, I can literally go on here and listen to my music and my car playlist and all that type of stuff. Not gonna play any music right now because I don't wanna get copyrighted, but you know, you guys get the point. Moving up, we have my car mirror and there's me, hello. Looking down, you can actually see I'm hanging this little mushroom necklace type thing. I bought this from a really cute store in my town and I decided that I wanted to hang it up in my car because I thought it would look really cute. And um, honestly, I was right. We have this little area that I can keep like my sunglasses and stuff like that. Normally, I have my sunglasses here. They're in my dad's car right now, but um, yeah. Yeah, that's that. Moving down, we have my gear and my um, center console type thing going on. The gear has like a leather kind of thing going on here, which I think is really good because it like catches anything that goes in between. Also, we have this cigarette lighter type thing. I forget what it's called. Um, I'll probably plug in like a little charger thing over here later to um, be able to charge more than just one phone at a time. I also have two cup holders, which are kind of small, but still fit. I bought two coasters to put at the bottom. The car actually came with coasters. You can actually see them under here. They just had the Volkswagen logo, but I wanted to get something a bit cuter and a bit prettier, so I got these ones instead. But if you move past my parking brake, you can actually see my little center console box type thing. Warning, it is not the biggest thing in the world. Um, this is literally how big it is. <laughs> yeah, um, it's pretty small. 
definitely can't really keep much in there but you know it's a beetle i wasn't expecting the biggest space you know what i mean moving to the passenger side we have we have both the top glove box and the bottom glove box it's kind of hard to see because it's really sunny out if you open this top one you actually just see nothing major honestly this is a really small box so there's not really much you can keep in here i have a little stand for my tripod this is for my phone i also have a pack of advil because i get headaches like it's nobody's business but um yeah there's that. If you open the bottom one, we can actually see a bit more interesting stuff. First off, I have my hairbrush because, you know, I always got to stay looking hot as hell. Then I have this little booklet thing that actually has all my information for my car. It's in, like, this really cute leather booklet thing. But, yeah, um, nothing else really in there right now. Just kind of that type of stuff. So, um, I'll close that up. If we move towards the back area, obviously, we have the two back seats that are semi-comfortable. 50% of the time. Looking down, we can actually see I have one, yes, counted one cup holder for the back. It actually has another one of those coasters I was talking about up here. Also, again, it has another one of these cigarette lighter type things. Probably put a charger back here as well for my two backseat guests that will eventually be in the car right now. I can't technically drive anybody that's on immediate family right now by myself, so I'm not going to really have anybody in these back seats for a while, but um, I still want to dream, so let me do that. Anyway, with that being said, that's basically the entire interior, um, except I should say the really, really cool part that we haven't gotten to, which is my roof, or should I say lack thereof, because I can actually take it down with the push of this button. So yeah, as you can see, the window goes down, and then, of course, the roof goes down as well with it. Oh, I stopped it there. There it goes. It looks absolutely great. I have actually driven with the roof down in my neighborhood. And let me just say, it is like the greatest, most euphoric experience in the world. I literally love it so much. I love this car. It's exactly what I wanted. And like, I couldn't have asked for a better thing. I'm so grateful that I'm able to drive it. I'm so grateful that it's mine and like I own it. But anyway, um, with all that being said, that's basically my entire car. So um, so yeah, um, that's basically my entire car. Super pumped to be driving this thing. Until then, be sure to follow me on all my socials, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, all that fun stuff. Nobody loves you in this world i do i hope you have all an amazing day and uh stay safe and buckle up because you know seat belts are very important bye bye <laughs>